Hey, how the heck are you doing? I am D.W. Wanberg, and this is D.W. Show for the 14th of, uh, of February in the year of 2011. How the heck are you doing out there? Um, yeah, it's special Valentine's Day show, and uh, do I have all sorts of special Valentine's Day things? Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe not so much. Um, what do I have, though? I, actually, uh, I really regret that I, I said nothing about this last week. But uh, but last weekend, uh, not the one that we just had, but uh, the one before that, um, uh, February 6th, uh, February 5th, uh, Anyway, um, I was in Lake Geneva, which is uh, down south, uh, just north of the Illinois border. And uh, they have the National Snow Sculpting, the U.S., United States, National Snow Sculpting Competition. And I, uh, I like to go down and video video that. I've, I've done that for the last several years. My dad lives uh, uh, in Lake Geneva, or near Lake Geneva, actually. Um, and I like to go down and shoot video of that. Uh, I, I shoot stuff in the woods by his house, but I also um, always go down once a year. Uh, they only hold it in the winter, uh, believe it or not. And uh, I like to go down and shoot video of that. And uh, so, I've, I've got that for you, and that's uh, a big, long video piece. I mean, longer than my usual clips, which are uh, usually go for anywhere from 2 to to 8, sometimes sometimes pushing 11 minutes, but usually not. But, but this is almost 15 minutes. Um, so... Let's talk more. Well, I guess I talk over the video, so uh, it it will be well less less talk than uh, me babbling on continuously as I do uh, during the speaking part of the show. Uh, but anyway, I'm 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 looking over here at Jeopardy and uh, um, <clears throat> recording this in the afternoon. The late afternoon um hopefully in plenty of time to get it over to the station uh by six o'clock uh barbara the ex executive director uh is working as a volunteer on uh of course uh the paid staff was let go of wyou and barbara the executive director is working as a volunteer on mondays and thursdays but anyway she uh takes the the discs down to the uh where the uh, the automator is and uh and it sends out to that so i gotta have this done before six o'clock uh well I, I mean i gotta get it over there before six o'clock because she can anyway anyway so i'm recording this in the late afternoon and um jeopardy is on and they've got a computer as one of the contestants um and uh i i wasn't gonna watch it and i i should just turn it right off but uh, a buddy of mine and called up and said are, are you recording uh, that and uh no i'm not um well would you i i want to play it to some of my students uh, okay okay i'm trying to record my own dang show but uh, i'll record jeopardy at the same time but anyway uh so I'll watch it later. I'm curious to see how uh, the IBM Watson does against uh, um, uh, the other folks. Um, Dan Jennings is that the guy's name? I think I think they're uh, they're big uh, the big guy that won uh, so many times in a row. Uh, used to be, I think that they could you could only. Uh, play for three times or something, and then they uh, they got rid of that time limitation, or maybe it was a week. I don't know. 
But then they got rid of that, and this guy just kept coming back and coming back and winning and winning and winning. Um, and finally he lost after, I don't know, a long time. But anyway, maybe I'll talk about my show and not, <laughs> not Jeopardy. But, uh, but anyway, so, uh, so I got coming up these, uh, these clips of the United States National Snow Sculpting Competition where, um, these folks from, uh, from different states, uh, um, come and, there weren't a whole lot of, uh, Florida entries this year. I, I wonder why. But uh, anyways, uh, states come and uh, folks from different states come and compete there. Uh, there seem to be uh, a lot more Wisconsin people than uh, other states. And I, I think probably because it's closer, less travel expenses involved. Uh, some, a few Illinois, uh, anyway. Anyway, so we'll we'll be watching that later, and as as has been in the past, it was a a good competition, and there were some good entries, a lot of good entries, um, and we'll see see those later. So uh, what do we got coming up? Well, of course, uh, um, I should give at least a, a shout out to all my Egyptian fans out. Do I have any Egyptian fans out there? I don't know. But um, but anyway, uh, um, acknowledging the big uh, Egyptian people power revolution that uh, that toppled Mubarak, and uh, did I hear uh, um, that uh, that the police department was apologizing for some of the torture over the years? Um, saying that, uh, well, it was all just a big misunderstanding. I mean, a prisoner would say, hose me, Mubarak, and they'd say, hose me, okay. Well, uh, anyway, anyway, maybe that will, um, uh, so the, the big Egyptian situation, and of course it's all in flux right now. Um, the army has control of the country. And uh, the army is respected and liked by uh, by the people, and uh, so we'll see how we'll see how that works out. Um, they say they're going to relinquish power after the elections uh, in about six months. Um, when Hosni um, was uh, said that he would not seek a uh, uh, a new term or whatever it is. He would not run for re-election when there are elections in September. Um, but who knows when the actual elections are going to be uh, coming up. Uh, um, and they've uh, suspended the Constitution, suspended Parliament, and will be writing a new Constitution. And uh, I guess I probably mentioned this last week that that Sarah Palin had uh, had criticized the Obama Obama administration for not explaining who would be in charge of uh, um, Egypt uh, next. And uh, my phone is ringing. Um, it's, it's probably my buddy from Vienna giving me a call, but I'll go check it out. Or it's actually it's a campaign call, but I'll go answer the dang phone. Well, it was Mayor Dave calling. I I think it was a recording. Um, but anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, maybe I... What are we doing here? I'm, anyway, um, I guess I got to think about uh, going to the clips, but I can uh, uh, yammer on for a little bit more before I go to the dang clips. Uh... But anyway, yeah, the the big uh, uh, election, the big primary election uh, tomorrow. Uh, primaries for mayor of Madison, for uh, county uh, executive, for uh, Supreme Court uh, judge, and uh, what else? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, vote early, uh, vote often. And nah, no, uh, that's just 
playing into the Republicans' hands about that. Uh, uh, Republicans are all uh, all upset about uh, voter fraud when there is, in fact, no voter fraud. There's just hardly any voter fraud at all. And uh, basically, they want they've got this deal that. Uh, they want to require voter IDs at the polls, um, and and basically it's it's just kind of a move to to discourage poor people um, without IDs from voting. Basically, what it is, and uh, it, it's not like there's rampant voter fraud. Uh, maybe they want to prevent voter fraud in the future even though there's no voter fraud right now but it is it is a fraud it's just uh the republicans way of uh thinking how they can curtail some uh, some democrats voting who may not vote uh if they don't have an id um, uh, because certainly uh people at the poor end of the uh spectrum uh, would be less likely to vote for Republicans uh, than uh, vote for Democrats. But anyway, uh, I guess it is. I, I better go to the clips. And once again, uh, these are clips of the uh, national, the United States National Snow Sculpting Competition held in Lake Geneva. And uh, they... They start on Wednesday with a block of snow, or, or is it a cylinder of snow? I don't know. I didn't get there that early. But a, a big, big hunk, a big hunk of snow, and uh, they carve that um, into uh, their finished pieces. And uh, by golly, I think they're melting away as we speak. Um, so they're big globs as we speak, but I've, I've got them on videotape and are not videotape. They're recorded digitally without any use of tape. But anyway, let's go to that before I run out of time. Um, here we go. Yeah, oh, and we start with the, the sculpting. There are three actually different times that I went three different days. I went on Friday while they were still working on them. I went on Saturday when it was very, very crowded, and uh, it would. I, I, I try. I should not have done that, but I tried to avoid. I, 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 I tried to um, avoid people in the shot when I should have shot some shots of how very, very crowded it is. It was. I, I shot some later on when it was less so, but. The center aisle, there were, there's kind of like three aisles, and the center aisle was just so jam-packed, you could, you could not really move, you just kind of in a crowd, and, uh, and eventually you would move. But anyway, so uh, I shot some on Friday, some on Saturday, when it was so very, very crowded, and then some right before the Super Bowl. Uh, about five o'clock or so, I, I think I left it. Um, I, I wanted to get home in time to watch the Super Bowl, but being right before the Super Bowl, I knew it would not be very crowded, and it wasn't, so, uh, and it had snowed a little that night before. But anyway, I better get to, uh, the clips, starting with the sculpting. Okay, here we go. This is a big Elvis that they're working on, we're working on. This would be Davy Jones's locker. That would be Davy Jones there. Of course, uh, under the sea, here is the maquette for that. An octopus. Because they does happen sooner or later. And the pieces of eight. And Davy Jones. That would be the snow version of Davy Jones. And they're working on these sculptures from Wednesday to Friday. This would be on Friday, so they're uh, they're getting pretty much finished. Not completely, but uh, they're getting there. And a lot of these people will work all night on the sculptures. Uh, they have to be completed by 11 a.m. on Saturday morning. Is 
actually kind of a pretty hazy sunset over there. This would be uh, David here, uh, Michelangelo's David. That would be, this is the clay maquette for it. That would be Michelangelo, the sculptor. That would be David clearing a little bit of snow there. This is a big frog. That would be a gal. That would be David again, and that's uh, the maquette. No, I guess actually that's uh, that's a s the real David, or, or, or a copy of the real David, the sculptor. But this is uh, this is the Michelangelo figure working on the back of David. Very nice. That would be the front of David. Chopping and gouging, a lizard near some uh, cactus. There would be the Elvis again. Yeah, kind of cold and windy. Big snake coiled up. This would be the dance of the axe kagun. Uh, kind of a bird, I guess. Would be some sort of a tree trunk thing there. This would be Mercury Racing Pegasus. Uh, this would be Elvis, but the last thing we just saw was uh, Mercury Racing Pegasus. Oh, and the phone just keeps ringing. I should have unplugged it. But anyway, here, uh, here's all the sculptures. There's the frog, working on the frog again. It's Barbara calling me uh, to see if I've, I'm going to bring in my, uh, my disc. So, uh, anyway. I wasn't a political candidate uh, calling. Anyway, so uh, here they are working away. And, uh, of course, there's some excess snow here that we're looking at. A beautiful sunset. Playing around with the exposure there. And there is the sunset. It was a little redder in the shot we had before. Now we're going under the artificial lights. And this is the dance of the, uh, let me get my dance of the axe kagun. Uh, and I believe this is some uh, uh, Inuit uh, uh, myth. Here we go, uh, guy working on uh, Davy Jones's uh, fingers there. There would be Davy. Here we go. These are the finished sculptures. That would be Michelangelo with his uh, chisel and hammer.
working on David. That would be Dave himself. And that's from Illinois. I couldn't really get a wide shot when I was there on Saturday, so I got wide shots on Sunday when everybody was preparing to watch the Super Bowl. So the shots on Sunday don't have the sun. And look at this gal's shoe there. Well-crafted shoe. And that's from Wisconsin. Okay, let's go. Shots from Sunday uh, don't have the sun and they have a little bit of new snow on there. That would be a lizard going for a dragonfly or something. Mm -hmm. It was like those chunks on there, see? From Illinois. Here's the wide shot. There's the king. Elvis himself. Thank you very much. From Maine. And this is a, a jack-in-the-box there. Wind-up jack-in-the-box. Helicopter in the background. From Illinois. Lake Geneva in the background there. This would be the eye of the snake. Fangs on that snake. Right here, just like that. From New York. I'm not even gonna try to go up the middle. And here would be the wide shot in front of the Riviera. This would be that large, uh, oh no, I'm, that's a tree, kind of a, I, I guess it's like an old stump or something. I could be wrong. From New Hampshire. Helicopter. And this would be uh, an octopus taking apart a clock. Something that, like that. Let's see the maquette here. The clay maquette. From Nebraska. Here would be a, a dragonfly. A, with a, a frog in hot pursuit. From Wisconsin. Here's the wide shot. Okay, a doggy, a barrel of fish, a fisherman, and a very big fish from a slightly different angle this is from Vermont and I oh I don't have a wide shot of, one, of this one there's the cactus again lizard uh, by it aren't you gonna go go for a bowl Here's the maquette made out of clay from Iowa. There's the wide shot. Do they have cactus like that in Iowa? I don't think so. Here's a gal uh, with a fan on a chair. <laughs> Flowing hair from Minnesota. 
our neighbors to the west. So although this seems novel to us, he said this legend about the bird and all that is a common piece of Alaskan culture. Well known. The dance of the Axkagan from Alaska. Bird and the two little birds. Dance of the Axkagan got third place. And here's the drawing of it. And a coin and the big bird. And those are some pictures. Hey, Ricky. Hey. Yeah. That's the anchor. Here is Davy Jones's locker. And that would be Davy right there. That would be the treasure chest, octopus. And from Wisconsin, this would be second place and the people's choice. Here we go with Mercury Racing Pegasus. Pegasus, the winged horse. This would be the clay maquette. And from Wisconsin. This, of course, if you've been following along, was the first place. That's the wide shot. And here is, uh, we, I've got a few just pan shots. This is on Sunday when it wasn't very crowded at all, before, right before the Super Bowl. Plenty of parking available. That's a snake in the background. And this is uh, from Saturday when it was less crowded than when I first got there. But that's it for the 2011 U.S. National Snow Sculpting Championship. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. And that was, uh, again, the United States National Snow Sculpting competition. It, I, I said uh, championship. It's the competition. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad with how those uh, clips turned out. They they're, turned out pretty well, I think. Uh, I, I forgot to put in one wide shot, but uh, say la vie, say la vie. Um, been working long and hard on those clips and actually had to go down to Lake Geneva to get them. Uh, they didn't shoot themselves on their own. But uh, anyway, um, and uh, Barbara just called, and I, I called her back um, because I thought, it, as I guess I explained during my clips, I thought it was going to be another campaign uh, ad. Hello, this is Mayor Dave. Yeah, hey, Mayor Dave. Um, but anyway, um, do I want to do a correction from last week? I, I called the the Garver Seed uh building the uh old the garver feed building the old seed building and it isn't but anyway anyway it's time for me to get the heck out of here i gotta take the escape chute out of this place adios so long farewell and see you uh in the funnies <laughs>